In Onshape, there are three different ways you can start off a sheet metal part. Here I am in a part studio. I have some imported geometry for a power distribution board and some other geometry that I've started in order to facilitate making my sheet metal. I have a sketch of a rectangle that I have extruded and a couple of fill surfaces in order to cap it off. To start off a sheet metal part, you're going to use this button in the ribbon, Sheet Metal Model. And when you click on it, you're going to get a dialog box with three different methods. You can convert, extrude, or thicken. First, let's take a look at converting. And first, you're going to select whether you want to pick different parts or surfaces. And I'm going to start off by selecting this entire part for the sheet metal geometry. Then I'm going to select which faces I want to exclude. And you can see that we're all get, already getting a preview of the geometry. And for this one, let's say I don't want to include this top surface. I just want to make sort of an open-ended box. Next, I will define which edges or cylinders I want to bend. In this case, I will select this edge over here and this edge. And then let's rotate the model to get the ones on the other two sides. This one. And by the way, if you take a look in the part tree. Right now we have two different parts because it realizes that it's going to end up making this one right now as a separate part until I select that I want to bend this edge as well. And that way now we're down to one individual part that's going to be created from that original part. And so then we have some other different options inside of here. You can choose to offset your sheet metal geometry from the source geometry. Here you can change the thickness or flip the thickness side. And here we have the bend radius. And there are other different values in here, including the K factor and the uh, rolled K factor and the bend K factor for figuring out the developed length of the blank that you would use in order to create this. And again, some other different options available to you in here. Let's hit the check mark. And there you can see a preview of the sheet metal geometry. On the right side of the screen, we now have an additional flyout. We have the sheet metal table and flat view. And when I click on that, here you can see what this particular model would look flattened out. And we have our different bends in here with the bend radius and the bend angles. Let's collapse that. And I've got my first part in here, but let's hide that so we can start making some more geometry. This time I'm going to use the method of extrude. Let's click on the sheet metal model command again. And instead of converting, this time I will use the extrude option. And for the sketch curves to extrude, first I'm going to start off by selecting sketch one. You can see a preview of the geometry. Let's change the depth from blind to symmetric. And then for changing the value over here, I'm just going to drag this out and you can see the preview of the geometry. And right now this isn't realistic because you can see that we have the bends in here. You can't create that unless you put some rips in there. I'm going to remove what I selected as sketch one and instead select the edges from the sketch individually. And so there you see a preview of the geometry. Let's select the second one over here. You'll notice even though the sketch is straight lines, it automatically puts the bends in there. So when you're making your sketch, it's recommended that you not put the little fillets in there because again, the tool will do that for you. So that looks good. And here we can see that part two is starting out. Let's now hit the check mark. And there you can see the geometry that it would end up being created. And so for the third method, I'm actually going to get rid of these two parts. Let's delete that one and delete this one as well. Hit the check mark. And might as well just delete these two sheet metal models that I have in there as well. Yeah, might as well delete that since. I don't have it in here. So now I'm back to my original geometry. Let's take a look at the third method. I will click on the sheet metal model command. 
And this time we'll use the thicken option and you can select faces or sketch regions that you want to thicken. And so for the faces, let's select the bottom surface. Then I'm selecting the side surfaces as well. And if you take a look in my part tree, you can see that right now I have multiple parts because I haven't defined my bends. Let's select the other two faces that we want to use. And that's good. Now for the edges or cylinders to bend, let's click in that little collector. Right now you can see all the different parts that I have, but as I start putting bends in here, the number of parts reduces. And rotate around. Let's select this edge as well. And this edge. And so there we have our bends. Again, you can change the thickness of the sheet metal, flip the side, change the bend radius, change your K factors for flattening this out and so forth. And once again, if we go to the sheet metal table, you can see the bends that would be necessary and the flattened version of the part. Let's clap this and then hit the check mark. And so again, there we have our two sh our sheet metal part created in here. As before, you can select your part and then right click and choose rename. And for simplicity, I'm just going to call this my box. And right click again and choose assign material. And then we can choose for our material let me select a steel and I'm just going to grab this stainless steel, hit the check mark and have the material. And you can also change the appearance, but in this way you can see the geometry that ends up being created for our sheet metal. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.